France's Fifth Republic came into force in 1958, putting the president at the center of the executive power in a bid to end the instability of the previous parliamentary regime, which had paralyzed the government. Borrowing from the parliamentary system, the prime minister heads the government and answers to the National Assembly, which has the power to overturn government by passing a motion of no confidence. The president is elected by direct universal suffrage for a five-year term, which together with his central role at the heart of the executive, distinguishes the system from European parliamentary regimes. The president plays a central role in determining foreign policy and steers government policy. He has the power to dissolve the National Assembly. The president chooses the prime minister, who in turn proposes other members of government. He presides over the cabinet and enacts laws. The Prime Minister drives government action and presents its politics in the National Assembly. Government can also draft bills to put before Parliament, implement laws and introduce bills before Parliament. Parliament has two chambers, the National Assembly, whose members are elected for five years by direct universal suffrage, and the Senate, comprising senators indirectly elected by electoral colleges for six years. In the event of a conflict over legislation between the two chambers, the National Assembly can overrule the Senate. The government can also force through laws if it fears failing to secure a majority by adopting them without vote, unless the Assembly passes a motion of no confidence.